Uh, I mean, I know it was out there like beforehand if you were like pre-registered and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's probably a post in the Michigan Smash 4 booth then. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you it's, it's out there if you probably search Ascension. Yeah, you sort through all the grime. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, getting into it here on Smashville. Game 1. So, Lucas versus uh, Falcon. What Lucas can do is retreating PK fires, and as soon as Falcon gets close, like, uh, unless he's dash grabbing, just shield, and then get a shield grab. Because Lucas's shield grab combos are really good. So, yeah, Lucas is going to want a lot of grabs here. Galley G is very, very patient as a player. Mm -hmm. And also helps that Lucas can do safe recoveries versus Falcon, where Falcon doesn't want to try and go out there to hurt Lucas, because if he doesn't kill Lucas, then Lucas can recover from everywhere as long as they get the angle right. It depends on what point of the recover they're in. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my Ooh, trying to go for that knee there. Uh, but going back to the recovery for just a second here, if Lucas uses the Zare to recover, uh, he's vulnerable until he snaps to the ledge. Yes, he is. Un but the thing that most characters can't do against it there is that, one, just like that, it comes out so fast and he can recover. And two, that it has a very long reach. You see the range for the grab and the uh, yes. Zare right there. And then you see Ooh, him go for the ledge, and it's through. ridiculous. Like, the Zare would have grabbed from so far away. Ooh. Oh, That's it. Yep. Good fade away into the side B. We should probably, I believe we have the hairdo online here. <laughs> the hairdo? Yes. That's what it's called? <laughs> there's there's a few different hilarious. names for it, but I like the hairdo the best. <laughs> that is hilarious, the hairdo. You're just give him that, that little new Jimmy Neutron hairdo, you know? The Jimmy Neutron. That's what it should be called, the Jimmy I Neutron. I think there's like a brain blast or something like that, but I, I like the hairdo. It's more it's more low-key. Oh, this could be it. We're, we're going to yeah. see the hairdo here, and that's going to take it out for I'm going to call it the brain blast from now on. Oh, I, I wish I wouldn't have said anything. Good. Not Raptor Boost. Oh, my goodness. I am spaghetti. The hug. Just call it yeah, the, the hug. Yeah, the Falcon hug. Oh, my god. Ah, going for another knee. Ooh. And just reading that air dodge there. Galaxy. That was actually a forward air. Was it a forward air? Yeah, he 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 read that she would uh miss space because Captain Falcon, like, steps back a bit before yeah. forward smashes. So with just that, he was able to get a very nice forward smash and kill Galley G. I think that was a JV2? I believe so, yes. I know Galley G has a lot of experience against Meow, but this is this is a different Falcon. Yeah. Meow's getting up there too though, so. Yeah, see us, but. Alright, so game two, Town City. Uh we should probably see, hopefully we see more of Galley G like trying to get more distance, not letting Falcon get in range to do all his nonsense. More uh Zares and PK Fire, I would assume. Yeah. Is what she should be uh, opting for. Yeah, and try and get a if he does get close, try and get a grab combo. I don't think, besides the uh, Brain Blast we saw at the end there, I don't think I saw a single grab combo. No, I don't think so, because we saw like a lot of Nair and up tilt. Yeah. Uh, nice little two-hit stuff, but they weren't out of grab. Yeah, yeah good um, Tomahawk there by Meek. Just jump Meek up, get down. Meek has adapted here. Uh, he really oh seems goodness. to have a feel for exactly where Galley G wants to be and what she wants to opt for. Uh, and she's not having any answers at this point in time, really on the back foot. Yeah, like 137-28, more than 100% difference. And with all that rage, Lucas can't get too many of his good combos, and the uh, Brain Blast is going to have a very different percent range than what it normally would. There we go. We got some Ooh. good damage here, 55% tacked on. Yeah, that's a 64%. Uh, I think Meek's in range to die from up smash. I don't see a Lucas ever go for it, but just, just a suggestion. <laughs> I don't know, that might be a little too risky. Yeah, because it's... Ooh, oh, running that. into the axe kick there, unfortunate. Uh, just knocked him all over the noggin. Did not survive that. Okay. That neutral air, it came out really fast, ended, and then Galaji just got the uh, jab real quickly. Oh, wow. We're seeing more safe options out of Meek Meek. Uh, realizing he was on the back foot for just a second there, he got into disadvantage, but he's managed to get back into advantage. And Galley G's having a hard time escaping the ledge. Brain blast. There Brain it blast. is. Oh, oh he didn't no, die didn't though. Take it. He was probably just like a percent out of range for that. And now it's a little bit stale. Oh Meek's trying to go in right here, trying to get that knee. Yeah, he's been trying to get it all matched. Ooh, four air coming that through. Killed. Yep, yep, waited too long. Yeah, that's not something you can do against Lucas. You cannot chill there. Yeah. So, 
This is sort of similar to how the match started, where Galaxy was down almost 100% and then brought back like 90% real fast on uh, me. So we'll see if maybe she can do it again. Because, like, at this rage, all Lucas needs. Oh, please do a good combo. Oh. oh. Facing the I don't way. usually see uh, Gally G really go for the footstool stuff. Oh my goodness. I know she's been, like, working on that type of stuff, but I don't know if it's there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get caught by that Raptor boost there. Nothing she can do. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be a good 2 0 to Meek. It, yeah, good 2 0 to Meek. He wins pretty handily there. There was just so much pressure at the end. Meek was backer on the shield, back.